For the past few years, I've been utilizing Financially Fit Foundation's save system in order to manage my finances. Now, just a little bit of context, Financially Fit Foundation is a nonprofit organization aiming to teach financial literacy to people. And yes, I am a board member on it um, in more recent times, but that's because I believe in their mission and what they're doing. This episode, however, is not about the SAVE methodology, though you can read all about it in their book, which I've linked to in the description box. Um, It's available through Amazon. Specifically, what this episode aims to do is to make that process a little bit easier. So uh, as far as the process is, is concerned is you have to you know, take your bank statement and then go through it and categorize all your expenses into the various categories. So think like auto, medical, and so on. So in paper form, that can be a lot, right? And uh, especially if there's a lot of purchases, it can get daunting because you end up losing sight of Uh, you know, the addition when you need to go add it up. And that that was taking a lot of my time. So now what I do is I take the PDF statement, I convert it into an Excel spreadsheet, then put in the categories into the purchases um, that they need to. uh, So I do that. And then I sort it out uh, automatically through Excel. And that's been very beneficial for me. So let me just kind of walk you through the process. And by the way, This first step can apply to any document that you need that is a PDF, but you need to convert it into Excel. So literally the website is pdf to excel.com. Very simple, straightforward. And what you wanna do when you first uh, get to the website, you can either click and drag or upload something. So I've already downloaded my bank statement as a PDF, and you can do that through, you know, whatever your bank is, doesn't matter, it'll all be relatively the same. And then I'll just click and drag that in here, it'll upload it, and then it'll convert it. Now, if you happen to use this a lot and you you find it very beneficial, then, you know, you can go the premium route with PDF to Excel.com. However, the free version suffices certainly for me. So I'll go ahead and click download. And then what I'll do is I'll open that up in Excel. Now, as this opens up, uh, a lot of times, you know, it's got information that I don't necessarily need to uh, worry myself with. What I'm more concerned with is the, uh, with the withdrawals and subtractions, you know, and this is my, bank statement, you know, if you get a credit card statement, it should be similar enough, right? And so what you're essentially going for is you want to code all of the charges that you have based on the category that they fall into. So, you know, uh, I do this based on a number. So each category gets a number. And I go ahead and put that number at the end column here. So I'm just gonna arbitrarily make up some columns, so, or categories rather. So we'll go one, one, we'll say four, seven, uh, five, one, and then we'll go six and then eight. We'll get rid of that one because that's just more information about this expense. And what I'll then do is I'll click and drag all the actual things that are that are the payments. Then I'll go into data and I'll click sort. And I'm going to sort it based on the column where I made those categorizations. So in this case, column G and I'll click OK. So then it automatically sorts this based on the categories um, that I had created. So I have two for category one, one for four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, again, this isn't a lot of data to work with, um, which is fine. It's just an example. 
But if you have a credit card statement and you're using your credit card, or if you do use your debit card a lot, then I imagine you would have a lot more purchases in here. And so this is where it gets truly beneficial if you have like a page or two, three perhaps, uh, ho hopefully not, you know, that, that many. Um, but, you know, it, where, where it literally starts to add up, um, you know, and you have all these things and, you know, bank statements tend to be small. So working within paper form uh, can get daunting and, and whatnot. And so by doing this this way, I'm very easily able to just then do the addition for myself to figure out you know how much I spent per category and translate it into my accounting books as such. So that's it. That's literally how I do it. Um, it's just a simple PDF to Excel conversion. And once you put it into Excel, you have a lot more power over it. Um, so I hope this helps and uh, may make your budgeting life easier, the same as it has mine.